So far, I have been using this book as a Bible when it comes to recipes. I have been following the ingredients to a T. Today, the main ingredient, the star, we're not even gonna use. Welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? Welcome back to my kitchen. Hope you're doing well, living life, doing your thing. We're working through Anthony Bourdain's cookbook. Today, we're working on fish. It is a special one. Skate, Grenoblois, something like that. Grenoblois, French is so difficult. The hair is going back. Whew, that's a little better. So what exactly is skate? If you Google skate, you're probably not gonna come up with the fish, similar to a stingray. Bourdain says it is long thought of as a trash Fish. He also notes as it becomes more popular, it will no doubt become more and more expensive. Funny he says that because it has become so expensive and so popular that it is now overfished. It is an endangered species. I ain't touching an endangered species. I struggle killing anything but flies when they're swinging around. I like to hit them with this electric tennis racket I have. Plain and simple, I am not gonna support the fishing of something that is endangered. I'm gonna use cod. That was what was available. I really wish I could use this, but the planet's already fucked and I'm not trying to make it even worse. Let's get making this. Prep time, relatively simple. We just have to segment a lemon. All the other stuff is just flour, lemon juice. Gonna get off the tip here. Maybe a little more of the tip. There we are. Carve it away. I'm assuming we go after this the same way we did an orange. That looks pretty groovy, pretty cool, pretty nice. Whoo, that burns, that burns, that burns, that burns. Man, ironically that didn't happen from cooking. So we're gonna go in carefully. I will say it again, this is extremely satisfying to do. I don't know why. There's something that's like very, very satisfying about freeing up these cute little segments. Very cute, very nice little lemon slices, fingers on fire. That's quite all right. Let's get these. All right, time to introduce our cod. Admittedly, I feel a little cheated because this was frozen in the little deli aisle or whatever it said, wild cod, bought it. On the package, it said pre-frozen. Sucks. So the goal, of course, is to get even cooking. I see that could be a problem here because we have a nice thin little potato chip and we have what looks like a freaking tenderloin. So, think I'm going to, one, shoot for five to seven ounces. That's what your average skate wing is. Let's first see how much this weighs in general. About 12 ounces. Portion off this guy right here that looks so delicate and sexy. Okay, and then I'm gonna portion off here, cut off right there. Let's check the weight. This guy is about five ounces. This guy is about five ounces. Yeah, okay, judge these boys. All right, I gave them a little rinse. Just gonna press this one a little bit. I want even cooking. Little salt and pepper. This is a pretty nice dish. There's not much prep and you're just letting the freaking ingredients sing here. The seafood doing its thing. Little of our white pep. Personally, I love fish. It's one of those things that you eat and you don't feel super crappy about yourself afterwards. Exception being like a filet of fish I've been there, it's a dark road. Again, salt and pep. Dredge in just some simple all-purpose flour. Great time for our comment of the week. A dash of salt and pepper. I am really glad you like the vibes here. Trying to do my thing, not getting too injured along the way. Let me know if you get the book. It's quality, it's like nothing I've ever read. It is a little light on details sometimes, but that's why I'm here, to up for you. Please fire away with any questions. If you have advice, please give me advice. I'm a noob, okay? I know sometimes I can fool you, but <laughs> the reality is I'm just following words on paper. Sometimes I'll Google some images for plating and that's it. Season further with salt and pepper. I gotta be real, white pepper? It smells a little barnyardish. Not, <laughs> not too crazy about that. Pretty pretty. <laughs> Over to the stove. Pan is coming up to temperature. I do wanna show off this cool thing. It is a fish flipper. Got it for like eight bucks on Amazon. It's like multi-purpose. A lot of people use it. I'm realizing it's actually kind of a piece of shit. I would recommend not buying the one I have. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing the metal is like not that clean and uh, that actually sucks ass. <sighs> So I'm gonna use a regular thin. When I do get a good fish flipper, I will let you know and I will link it below in the description. Since these fillets are a little bigger than your traditional skate, I'm gonna put a little oil in there. This butter has to last a while. And the oil stops it from browning and burning too quickly. When the butter has foamed and subsided, add the fish and cook over high heat for two minutes. Kind of dangerously close to overcrowding the pan. I'll rotate, 
I am a fiddler with that temperature. Like I'm always kind of adjusting, lifting the pan up, making sure I'm not burning it. Like that foie gras, ugh. I burned it a little bit. Still tasted good, but man, like, you know, damn duck is getting force fed and I'm f***ing up its liver. Back to the fish. Add one more tablespoon of butter and turn the fish, cooking the other side for two minutes. Got a nice texture there. Transfer the fish to the serving platter. Looks all right, looks okay. Not perfect, you know, breading kind of came across there, but I think she's nice and cooked well. Discard the butter from the pan and then add the remaining two tablespoons of butter. Cook over high heat until it foams and subsides, then add one tablespoon of capers and half a cup of croutons. Cook for 30 seconds, then add the juice of one lemon, remove from the heat and spoon the sauce over the fish. That's quite a pretty one. Relatively healthy. Of course, there's like five tablespoons of butter in there. Let's see how well I cooked it. Hopefully not under. I don't think that's under. Get a little bit of everything. Yes, indeed. That is something special. So simple. The lemon and capers are just like always amazing. The brown butter, I definitely taste. It's got more of like a nutty flavor. I know that's an overused term, but it really is. It's kind of nutty. Nutty. If I were to do this again, way too much salt I used. I seasoned this like it was a three inch pork chop. Probably add the croutons last minute because it kind of just soaked up all that butter and then there wasn't sexy sauce. The fish itself, maybe get the oil and butter a little hotter and we didn't support killing an endangered species. Thank you again for spending your time with me. Another recipe in the books. We are moving through this and we are getting better every freaking time. Well, at least I think so. This is back to boarding. Ugh. Stay organized and clean up after yourself. You do the best you can.